Yo, what's going on everybody? Slender here. We're going to go over the known issues list. Yes, it is that time. Known issues as of January 2023. Uh, it is a pretty big list, so we're just going to read through that really quick. And if there's anything that you guys know that's going on that's not on the list, um, and you for some reason can't get it on the list, you've tried the forums, let me know. I'll send it over to uh, my buddies over there in the dev department and you know see if they can get it added. Also, really quick, um, sorry I've been sweating. I just got back from the gym. I finally got my website up and running. It is slendermmo.com, so check it out. It's gonna be kind of like my home base. So if you guys wanna get my Discord, my um, Instagram, you know, all that stuff, it's all gonna be on the website. And it's also gonna be a place where I can put all my, you know, the, I'm getting into photography and um, you can see all my AI artwork that I've made too. So it's pretty cool. Um, and also there's a forum, you guys can chat with me. And thank you, big shout out to my uh, buddy, Chef Handsome for motivating me to, or motivating me to get this thing going. So anyway, um, if you guys know anybody that has hearing aids and wants more information, maybe how to clean them, how to take care of them, or just wants to learn more about their hearing aids, uh, check out my channel that I made, The Hearing Club. It's up and running, it's really cool. It's gonna be a really, really great resource for anybody that really uh, just wants more information on hearing aids and you know everything in between. And if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe, get me some numbers, man. Um, it's a really cool channel. A lot of great information and don't forget like and subscribe to this channel if you guys want to see more of my videos so let's go ahead and get started known issues january 2023 okay so here's our known issues list uh this will be in the description guys so feel free to check it out so there's going to be issues that pop up blah 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 looking for a release notes click here if you have any workarounds for a known issue it will be posted here or if we have any workarounds some items cannot be dyed. Some NPC dialogue in all languages is cut off abruptly. Unrecoverable, unrecoverable error, no product information found may be encountered on the game start. A player can sometimes lose their face after teleporting. Azoth tree area lights flickering. Using potion with ice gauntlet equipped and attacking causes player body to flicker and model corruption after weapon swap. Arena objective disappears from player HUD after reaching second stage of the Siren boss in Reekwater. Umlaut are not displayed correctly on names. Boss music does not play after death. Siege supply generators never pass 300 and do not stop generating resources. When on or next to uneven ground and using Void Blade to attack, causes player to snap afterwards. Players sometimes experience stuttering when using Great Axe Whirlwind followed by Maelstrom at high RTT. RTT spike during rolls can sometimes result in unnatural player movement. Swapping weapons input is lost sometimes. Oh my gosh, we're still having issues with weapon swaps. Well, we already knew that. Mortar charge consumes an extra charge when low on ammo. There are no lost in the genesis of malevolence for waste not want not. Rank UI for level 10 mutators disappear upon force quitting the game. Speech to text does not function consistently when players leave a group. Trades do not work after a transfer until the player relogs. Desync when running and rooted. Brimstone gatherables do not give hidden stash bags. Blocking at the right frame during an attack animation allows players to do damage without the full animation at high RTT. Certain skills are not dealing damage to the vines in Find the Soul Warden quest. Drawing back the bow at full power takes the player out of aiming after firing. Draw order for map icons should have completed quest markers green appear over other quest markers. Sometimes when players hold down shift to discard equipable items, they will equip it instead of discarding it. Max Holmes own message given when trying to buy a third house. Green faction quest markers move back over quest POI after OPR. AI's animation turned toward player's last location upon aggroing the first time. Spells cast shouldn't cause durability loss on everything they hit, should only lose durability on cast. Sarcophagus collision is not working in a specific location. Heavy decal flickering in brimstone sands on inverted pyramid. Demetrius Byton is missing recorded VO in all languages but English. Quest some strings in Helven encounter display unlocalized. Night and day special bosses of Heliopolis have low quality texture issues. Swamp Beast buff is not cleansed by any of the arena totems. Invasion is canceled after server restart if it is within the 48 to 72 hour darkness window. During the Ancient Glyphs, if the players use the Translate Ancient Glyph Interact before Study Ancient Glyph Interact, the interactable disappears. Assets don't render when marked for mesh merge and video settings are set to low. This causes some assets to be invisible in settlements like bookshelves and some stairs in player-owned homes. 
So that's it guys. That's the known issues as of right now. Um, it seems like there's a lot missing. This is definitely not a complete list of the problems that we're having in New World right now. So if there's any big ones, like I said earlier, make sure send them over my way and I'll see what I can do about getting it on the list. And we can get it done guys. We got that big passive bug where, you know, your offhand weapons, uh, traits and, and perks were carrying over. So if we can get that done, we can add a couple things to this list. So let me know. Now, one that hasn't made it to the list, and I have no idea why, uh, I thought it was actually already fixed, but I tried it again today, and uh, it still works, and it is not fixed. So this is another one by my good friend Wombat Rugby, so uh, I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description. Make sure you check it out. He told me he wasn't trying to get his YouTube channel going. He was just, air quotes here, trying to help people. But um, he does want subscribers. He is trying to get subscribers. So make sure you go over there and subscribe to his goofy ass. Anyway, this is uh, something that people are using in OPR. You are super, super fast. Uh, at first, I wasn't quite sure if it was actually faster, but it is. This is the ice skating. All right, so we're gonna start a timer. I'm gonna start right here in this little crevice each time. Uh, we're just gonna use our dodge roll and try to get to that rock as fast as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and start in three, two, one. Make sure to try to stay in a, as straight of a line as possible. We're at eight seconds now. I'm going to that little dark spot right there. And we have 18 seconds, 18 exactly. Again, this is something that people are using in OPR. You are super fast, but you get knocked out of it if you get hit, if you swap weapons, if you jump, if you stop crouching, it's gonna knock you out of it. But if you see people sliding in one direction, this is this is what they're doing. All right, so this time we're gonna use the ice. We're gonna ice skate our ass over there. See if we can beat 18 seconds. And we're going in three, two, one. It looks so goofy, super easy to spot too. We're aiming for that little dark spot right there. And we have 16 seconds. So we shaved off a whole two seconds. So it is faster than dodge rolling. It is super fast. So we'll make sure to get that added to the list. Now, if you guys have anything else, like I said before, anything big that you just don't think you're being heard on the forums, and they're not acknowledging anything, let me know. All right, so that's it, guys. That's all I've got. Um, anyway, before I go, guys, I just wanted to give a huge, huge shout out and a giant thank you to uh, the latest members that signed up for the uh, the Slender channel. And I wanted to talk about that before, you know, before I leave. So number one, the real struggles. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, Wayne Watson, Tinker Balambao, also known as, well, I call her the Pigeon Noises Girl. And then uh, Dragon Mondays, the one and only Aubin. Uh, really good friend of mine. Thank you, Aubin. And thank all of you guys. Uh, the yo-yoing operator, Wadon, um, Dalgoro, Jordan Dangles, uh, <laughs> that's my neighbor, my old neighbor. Uh, Malkaris, dude, you've been with us. You've been here like for five months. Thank you so much. Jerichoth, and then of course, my Nana, Mary Miranda. Uh, Nana, if you're watching this, that's my grandmother or mi abuela. Um, I love you, I miss you. I hope I get to see you soon. And um, if you're watching this, I miss you. So that's it, guys. Uh, also, if you guys have any ideas for any uh, any benefits that you guys would like to see for the members, other than just you know the shout outs and stuff that I do, um, make sure you let me know. Holy crap! Look at that. Make sure you guys let me know. Um, I I would love to do something. You know, do something fun. Um, I don't really know what else I could do. You know, we've got a couple little um, you know emotes that are specific for the members, but. You know, throw some ideas my way. Let me know what you guys want me to do for the members uh, that sign up for the channel. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you guys so much uh, for, for watching. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, let's go. Bye, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.